pass okay so the first thing is we are going to move because we don't need the chart we need this record so i've put it up let me see but please try to install your mt4 on your dial on your laptop so that we don't do anything inside the server server is not for us to be doing all this Okay, so the first thing we need to do, the first thing we need to do is we arrange the symbol which you have done. I think you have done it because we are seeing it now. It's like it has been done. Then we must make sure that we are on, on the chart, on the asset we want to deal with. So you are on the asset already, which is, which is excellent. Are you getting what I'm saying now? Good, because if you are on, uh, let's say you want to you want to treat AUD, then you're on this chart. There's possibility that you mistakenly open char, uh, trade on this Euro USD, and this is not what we want to work on. So we, I normally advise that you must be on the chart that you want to solve the problem. That is number one. Number two, okay. number two. Now bring out your calculator on your on your on your laptop. Bring out your calculator. No, 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 no. Put, put it on the screen so that uh, we can see together. And your Mac has calculator, sir. Put your Mac calculator on the screen. I want everything to be big. I don't want all these small, small things you are behind. Now put your calculator on that screen. So there's no way Mark can allow you to be to make it bigger hand. Huh? So now what you want to do now is you put your calculator somewhere. What, what did you do now? Because now we don't see the chart at all, and we still need the chart. Is that the thing? You see now when I'm complaining about this your marketing, everybody will be laughing. Mm -hmm. I, I need I need it this way. Now put your calculator on top. Good. Now, what we want to do now is we want to. I'll, I'll tell you the solution because uh, we have not started classes, so don't let me give you a stress. What we want to do now is what we call trimming, and when you are trimming, we want to make small profit from that trimming. So we have three methods of trimming. We have FIFO method, we have LIFO method, and we have random method. In this case, we are going to use FIFO method. What is FIFO? FIFO means the first in, first out. The first, uh, the first trade that they acquire, the, the robot open in the sequence. That's our first. Are you an accountant now? You know FIFO now? Yes, I know FIFO. I'm okay. just listening to you. I know. Okay, I know. all right. All right. So the first trade that came in before the market go wrong way and go on edge, we are going to start from that. That is FIFO method of trimming. So now, if you look at what we have here, we have 33 here minus 33 oil is Berry. Type on your calculator minus 33. I mean, type on your calculator 33 or let's say 34. Complete. I mean, round it up because of the market is on 34, 34. plus 61. Plus 57, I mean 58. 58. Okay. 153. 153 and plus 54. I mean 55. 55. Okay. That's, that's 208. 208. Okay, let's leave it at 208. So we want to close. All those trades, one, two, three, four. Is it four? Okay. So now, what we are going to do, the first thing we need to do is we're going to look at if we close this four, how many lot size are these four? So this is 0 0.01, 0 0.03, 0 0.05, 0 0.07. Okay. So out of your 0 0.25. 0.25 minus 0 0.07. What is it going to give us? Okay. 
0 0.18. So you first of all come and put 0 0.18 here so that you don't make a mistake. 0 0.18. Did you see that? And which direction is 0 0.18? We want, to, we want to sell it. So you must not, don't, don't make a mistake. So we now to close. We close this. We close this. We close this, making three. We close this, making four. Then we are coming to close this. Did you see? We close it, then we come and replace it with 0 0.18. So now we have trimmed the trade. So we have trimmed the trade, then we must sit on the on the profit, even as, as we trim it. Let's come to today. So we can see that everything we did now, we still sit on $85 profit. So that means we have finished what we need to do on this account for now. What we did now is we trim by FIFO. We trim by FIFO. So that's what we did now. And, and if you said, okay, 85 is too much for you, that you still want to trim it, you can still trim it, you see. This one is less than 85. If we close this now, we are going to come and remove 0 0.02 from that 0 0.018, 0 0.18, and it will become 0 0.16. And, and we, are, we are going to lock. But anytime you do trimming or yes. rollover, make sure that you lock the leg back. That's the mistake you did last time that you just close one leg and you open it. That is a destruction. That's a destruction. So now uh, you can see that immediately we finish what we want to do, we lock it back. If we count this 0 0.02, 0 0.04, 0 0.06, 0 0.08, 0 0.1, 0 0.12, 0 0.14, 0 0.16, 0 0.18. So we lock it with opposite direction 0 0.18. So why are we doing that? We don't want the allocation we give Australian dollar USD. We don't want to exceed that allocation. Did you understand what I'm saying? Inside our robot, we put what we call 5% of your capital. So anytime you are doing this, you have to lock it back so that allocation of that asset does not exceed what we are planning, what we plan to lock it with. This is the way that we can succeed in the market by edging. Already we know that inside our robot we have put allocation of capital that we want that asset to manage, that belongs to that asset. So anytime you are now trimming or you are rolling over, you must make sure that you are locking the legs back. Because if you don't lock the leg, there will be a problem. Then you will not see that a, one asset is taking 30%, 40% drawdown of your account. And what is going to happen? Psychology coming, and what happens? You start panicking and you blow that account off. So that is how we are going to do it today. So today, the lecture is trimming by using FIFO method. So I mean, we know FIFO means first in, first out. If you want to use FIFO with, uh, and if you want to use streaming with LIFO, L-I-F-O, that means we're going to be closing from here, from 27 here, because these are the last, these are the last trade. Yes, LIFO. So now, some people are greedy that they will say, okay, I want to use LIFO. If you use LIFO, we are going to close up to this level. Which is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, among, around seven or eight. So, why, why do we have to do that? If we do that, when this market is coming back, there will be too much gap to come to the top. But now we have reduced, we are reducing from the top down. So, it's easy for market to get here because we are still looking for opportunity to start 
reducing this lot and um, reducing this uh, trade. You understand what I'm saying, sir? All right. So that's why we use LIFO. I normally, I mean FIFO. I normally tell people use FIFO first. And when you use FIFO to the extent that you don't have opportunity to use it again, that is when we move to random. Then random, if you don't have opportunity for random again, then we move to LIFO. Did you understand what I'm saying? So that's the way I arrange my approach to trimming. FIFO first. If I don't have opportunity, I'll go to random. If I don't have opportunity, I'll go to uh, LIFO. What is random? Random is like, okay, let's say we want to close it now. I'm just giving you an example. Let's say this place is what you want to close. You can say, okay, you pick from middle. You pick from top. Uh, you can pick uh, from top. You pick from middle. You pick from uh, below. You. That is random. Yeah, so. You can ask me a question. Mm. So that's why, so at every time we want to do the trimming, we should always look at the market first, look at the direction of the market where it's going, then that will give us an idea whereby to go and do the label or people or random. Yes, well, that's but right. yeah, you are correct, but if you look at this method, no matter the direction of the market, just know that uh, no matter no matter the direction, just make sure that you start from FIFO first. Because this, the, this, this trade is selling now. It can be buying. And that's what, this is what I keep on telling people in, in, the, in, in this uh, trading industry. That people who don't understand things will think that uh, we are saying nonsense thing. Uh, let me see insert. Let me show you something quickly. Uh, insert shape. You see, the market moved from here, and it's coming down. And as we are speaking now, as we are speaking now, in such shape, the market is somewhere here. All these are just gimmicks. They are just gimmicks. Let me put it. Let's put it on H four and see. Do you see that market is on this place? in the past, before it comes in. If you look at here, look at this place. Market is one point at, the, at one point in time here, before it comes in. Before it comes in. So market is swinging, it's oscillating. So there's no way, we don't, actually we don't know the date, we don't know the time, it's only God that knows that. But this price will still come back to somewhere around here. So that is why I normally say use FIFO first. Because if you use, let's say we use uh, LIFO, we will be reducing this and we'll be keeping distance away from the market. So and if the situation became like that, the only thing we can use in future is rollover. And rollover means that we are giving part of our profit back to the market. So, but if we are if we are if we are solving the problem and we are removing the the lifo, I mean the fifo, the fifo, by the time market is coming, all this one will become profit. Then this profit we are going to use it to reduce here also. So after we reduce here also, and uh, we realize that um, what uh, we realize that uh, um, we we have less than five percent, we put the robot back to start managing it. So we just keep on uh, rotating that, we be in that cycle, we keep on doing that. For year in, year out, after like two years, three years, four years, maybe you are sitting on 100% of your account, 150% of your account. My, 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 my bad day I did last week is an account that I traded for 18 months that I, I closed to go and do my bad day. So that's why I keep on telling people, Forex is not for quick reach. But it's for your people who have planning, financial planning. It helps us a lot. You want to change your car in the next six months, one year? Forex is the answer. 
you lack, you, you saw a property that you want to buy in the next four five years. This is the answer. So, but you have to have the knowledge. You have just have to knowledge. You have to you have to build the skill. And the problem is the skill is what everybody don't want to build. They just want to make money. And you can never make money in absence of knowledge. So thank you, brother. Let's call it a day. You're welcome, sir. Yeah, bye.